Okay, so let's continue. Um, let's see. What do we want to do? Um, first, this is basically just the starting area for when you get to Manhattan and you have to run through all this quarantine stuff. Um, it's not really anything to do with the game afterwards. Um, dun -dun. Well, you can buy stuff here, but it doesn't really matter if you're so low level, so uh, yeah. I guess if you run out and find something and die to it, then you will spawn back here, so... But apart from that... So these, you can see there that it's, it's timing, saying how many percentages. Uh, so we actually have to stand at a, the map here until it's done. Um, but that will give you um, missions, and there is one of those in uh, in every safe house. Uh, there is a safe house up here, and this is just a hop where we start. And um, okay, so the blue ones here are assault missions, not assault missions. These are security wing missions. And then the green ones are medical supply, and there are also yellow um, ones, which we don't have one of right now, but they are the tech wing. And each wing um, correspond to, um, to, to these in here, so the medical, tech and security. And to unlock everything in here, also the modifications, you have to um, get enough points to actually upgrade your um, your base to a level where you can then use them. So let's say that we do a mission and we get 500 points for that mission. Then we go to our base of operations and we can there buy a medical clinic for 400 points and that will activate see something like let's say it will activate first aid and that's actually what so a clinic so yeah um, and that's how you unlock the, those perks and skills and um, uh, talents and so on um, so yeah that's it's pretty straightforward um, it can be a bit of grind especially when you reach the end and you just want the last few points because you have to complete a lot of these and you cannot um, can't do them more than once, um, at least not for the points. So um, you have to, I guess you have to, um, you have to do almost all of them. And some of them are kind of annoying, um, but most of them are not. So it's it's okay. So we explored Chelsea. Found Chelsea, I guess. Let's go in here and do this. Uh, is that an enemy? No. Oh, okay. So it's night time right now. Um, I'm actually not sure if the game just has a cycle, it probably does. But yeah, or if it's uh, in general for, so let's say it's always night time in Chelsea or something like that. Um, I don't think so, that would be weird, but um, right now it's night time at least. I know that it doesn't correspond to morning. real life because morning it's headquarters morning detected. here. So. Go check it out. Take out. Whoa, 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 oh, god, I died. Almost. I'm actually dead. Uh, there's no way I survived that. Um, I was pretty dumb. Uh, sure. Um, yeah. <laughs> that was pretty dumb. 
I'm actually gonna change this weapon because I really really don't like that weapon actually. Um, <clears throat> the mech is too small for what I want. Uh, so I wanna so let's just go back to the this one. Well this one actually didn't have bad records, so. but <clears throat> some of the um, uh, so it happened. This is where you spawn if you die. But yeah, some of the weapons have extremely horrible recoil, like the AK or something. It's, and also the M4. Uh, it's not E. Well, depends on who you are, I guess. But compared to like the SMGs, it's it's bad. And this one is. This one is fairly, fairly nice, actually. <clears throat> Don't like dying to a first mission we actually do in the game. That's... I guess it happens. Also, I'm rendering in the background, so that might be why I have a few lags. Sorry about that, but yeah. We'll have to do, at least for now. After that is done, I won't do any more rendering for now. Let me actually see if I can pause it. I should be able to pause it. No, I cannot pause it. Okay. It is using 99% of my CPU doing that. Yeah. Whoa, what the? Okay, I didn't see them at all. So the blue drops, you can see that one, or the green teal, I guess. Morning. It's a, um, detected. They are cosmetics. Um, so like a different backpack or sunglasses or something like that. So as you can see here that before I couldn't even do half an enemy in one Mac, now I can do two in one. So that makes it quite a bit easier. So you can see this guy has two white uh, um, bars and that is armor. Well, doesn't really do much other than just you have to get through that as well. GTF dispatch jacket. So let's see if there is a uh, there is a box. Knee pads. Usually, I would actually and I would also recommend doing that. Uh, actually, going to a safe house first. Um, probably not that one. Ah, I guess not. We were confused. Where's? We know that the base of operations is under siege. Oh, I would do this mission first. Square Garden. We don't have numbers, and they don't seem to have a leader. But the JTF is stretched thin. This has to be our first priority, Agent. Get our base back, and we'll go from there. Yeah, the base of operations is definitely first. Uh, first thing you want to do. Um, not that it makes a huge difference in the beginning, but it's nice to actually have it done, and then it's also pretty central. Uh, the so you can spawn there if you die or something like that. And it's a super easy mission. You just have to kill a few enemies um, in front of the, the base, and you also get a few items. So it's pretty nice. Also, there are a few cutscenes that tells you um, how the game works uh, somewhat. Like how the base of operation works, basically. Sound like somebody oh, that was that dude. So some of the people in the city, like that girl, maybe, uh, not her, but you can actually help them. They want different items, like uh, um, so. You have these these uh, items here you can use to modify special different things. So. 
uh, explosive bullets and incendiary bullets are not something they want, but they might want a soda or water or energy bar or canned food. Um, and you can get these from like backpacks in the game, but giving it to one of the um, civilians will um, give you some experience, not much, but also you will also get a, a random item, which can be nice. Just make sure you don't shoot at them, because then it'll run and you cannot do it. Just doing this can sometimes be enough that people run, yeah, you can see. That's not something people like. Dispatch, this is Division Agent Fei Lau, empowered and authorized by Executive Order and DHS Directive 51. Whoever you are, we're under an all-out assault. I'm not sure how much help you... Uh, uh, screw it, we'll take anything you can give us. Now, how are you on my comms? We've got your back. Just try not to shoot at anyone. Almost we're trying there. to help you. Over. Mm. into local GTF radio channels. Unit 43, be advised, you have incoming division agents as backup to your location. Well, damn time you get us some help. Get in here right now. Foster, we need support on the stairs. Marquez, move up on the plank. Go, See, go, this go. guy has a lot of power. Um... Definitely, well, I don't know if I definitely, but usually I <clears throat> I tend to try and kill the grenade guys first. Um, unless they're a sniper, then it's 50 50, I would say. But you definitely want to get rid of like, the snipers or, uh, or um, grenade guys because they can do a lot of damage. Also, it's nice if you, you shoot a grenade guy and he's, he's trying to throw a grenade, he might actually throw it where he stands. And if he stands next to some, some friends, then uh, yeah. And it's not too, too good for them, and very nice for us. Dispatch! Situation outside is now under control. My official report <coughs> the division saved our sorry asses. Thanks yes. for the report, Bravo My Squad. Uh, stay alert out there and keep it frosty. I'm glad you made it. Now let's rebuild our base. Go on in and have a look around. I finally got some transportation, so I'm inbound. Let's do this. You can't run in this section of the game, which is kind of a Agent, we need our base up and running, and we need to show the people of New York they're getting their city back. Our base of operations has potential, but right now it's a piece of shit and we've got no one to staff it. To get this place where it needs to be, we need people who know what they're doing. Like doctors. There's a virologist running a field hospital over at Madison Square Garden, but the whole area has gone to shit. With her, we can get our medical facilities online. Without her... The JTF commander Benitez is out in the field and he's gone offline. Bring him back. We need him to set up a functional security wing and it'll do a hell of a lot for morale. We've also got to restore basic services. We need power and the intel the grid can give us. They had a guy working on that, but it sounds like he ran into trouble patching us in. Without him, it's lights out. Isaac can map itself to each of the wings in the base and sync their progress so we can have a bigger picture of what's happening here. And the more stable this base is, the better shape the city will be in. So you also have crafting in the game. <clears throat> Can take a look at that, um, even though I don't really think we can do anything. Um, but you can see here we can craft these. Uh, we just need some fabric to craft these gloves or uh, these knee pads. But the thing is, you need both the blueprint and also the resource. Um, so yeah, it can it can be difficult. Uh, later in the game, 
<clears throat> Unless they add some more blueprints, uh, high-end blueprints, then it's not really something you are going to do. I don't understand half of what Campbell so, said. Yeah. Well, so you're a division agent, huh? Great. Uh, yep, yep. Now, uh, don't can buy uh, mods here, like, uh, to do what to armor do. here, and uh, weapons here. Just have to go and click these. But I'll let you know what we got. The security wing needs some love. And Captain Benitez. The JTF loved the guy. He can mobilize them well, and help us get the you. intel and firepower we need to get all these hostels off the streets. The medical wing is a wreck right now. Once we get that virologist over here, we can build up a staff, investigate the origin of the virus, and start getting more supplies. For civilians, but for us as well. So these are um, items that I uh, had from buying the game and so on. Go on. Uh, and from the store time. as well. There is a store in the game. Um, they're just cosmetics, so... Uh, doesn't really matter, the but it's, it's painting for your weapons days. and so on. But if you can get Rhodes back here, he's apparently got a lot of tricks up his sleeve. Former PMC, I think. Try to take a look at them. Knows more than you think he does. I suspect he'll be very useful. So we have this firestorm here, or we have this open snow. That's basically it. I mean, it's nothing special. So this is definitely better. Uh, we can actually equip another weapon as well. I would normally go and do something like uh, this SMG and also um, that rifle. So you can see here that <coughs> you have stats up here. You have firearms, the minor, and electronics. And um, having firearms increases your DPS. Oh, thank you very much for the uh, massive insight. What the hell is going on? People there. Ziz? Oh, I was apparently paused on the stream. Okay. <laughs> um, so basically you have uh, firearms, the minor, and electronics, and each of these stats increases the, the the stats you see above it, so skill, power, toughness, and, and DPS. And some um, perks later in the game on armor and weapons uh, require you to have a specific amount of, um, for instance, let's say you need 3000 skill power to activate this special thing that is on this item. Um, so you have to, to see, do we want to do that or not? Um, Electronics and and stamina and firearms, um, they all have different um, applications in the game. Toughness, of course, being your survivability, and this is how much life we have. Um, you can also see here under your character, uh, stamina. Okay, so the total life is 1260, so it's almost this. Um, yeah, so you can see what the stats do. Um, and you can see how you get the stats. You can also see how much uh, headshot damage you have, or crit damage, or whatever. You can see all the stats in here. Right. You also have this, which can just show you an overview of all the consumables, grenades, ammunition, keys, uh, different currencies. Currencies are shared um, at least these uh, Phoenix credits and and credits in general are shared. Um, no, not the credits in general, but the Phoenix credits here are shared um, over your account. And then you have the appearance. We can put on whatever a hat. Why am I like? What? Has to be a glitch. <laughs> okay, that looks kind of weird. What is going on? What are they doing? Am I like purple? Maybe it's because I was booted to 
Yeah. Okay. So you can. Some of the hats are cool, and some of them are not. You can have a beanie. You can have the ghost recon. Um, these are all cosmetics, so these are also shared uh, account white. Um, yeah. I don't, it doesn't really matter too much. That is some ugly pants. Let's go with the, the Ghost Recon Wildlands set. You don't get anything from doing this. Uh, all you do get is the appearance. Let's take a blue jacket. And the scarf, I don't care. Neck warmer. And the boots, I don't care. Sneakers, I need some sneakers. Okay, um, yeah, it's basically it. Hey, bad news. I'm not gonna be able to get out there. Not with my goddamn leg like this. I'll do what I can from here, but it's not the same. You have no idea how much I wanted to be in the field. I trained for a scenario like this my entire life. But it's worse than anything we could have imagined. You know how they won't let you get too close to anyone, so it won't mess you up when you're finally activated? Well, I did that, and it didn't fucking work. I'm attached. These are my people. This is my city. We're taking it back. Oh. Look, <clears throat> you need to... Yeah, okay. Okay. They're counting on us. Let's not let them down. Right, so base of operations is <clears throat> booted up and we are ready to go. So you still have to walk this area here. Uh, you can see your progress here. Um, yeah, well, that's really bright. Now we have the, the tech mission as well. So I think we'll do this one next. It, um, it's a fun mission. Um, but I will, I will, I will cut the video here so it doesn't get too long.